everyone. I have a fantastic haul for you today. I placed a pretty large order from Banana Republic Factory after a very disappointing visit to their actual store that is 45 minutes away. So let me just save you the trouble of driving to your nearest Banana Republic Factory store. They don't have a lot in there. My recommendation is to stick with online. So I've of course included all the links for you if you're interested in learning more about any of the pieces I'm about to share with you. And if you're wondering where to find those, there's this thing that we call the description box, which isn't much of a description box. If you're watching on a desktop, it's right under my head. And if you're watching on a mobile device, it's somewhere above my head. I've also pinned it as the first comment just to make it easier for you to find. Now, something I have never done before and I'm getting more and more questions, so I'm thinking that description box is super hard to find. People are asking me not just about what I'm talking about in the video, but what I'm wearing, like from here up. Now this will be discussed later, this is part of the try-on, but I just wanna make you aware that I always list all of my makeup in the shades and any accessories, anything you see from here up is also in the description box. It's just all the way down below what I'm talking about in that video, but I'm gonna go through a quick run through and if you're not interested in hearing this, there'll be a timestamp here and you can just jump ahead to the haul. So earrings today are from Dean Davidson. These are the mini Ipanema earrings. They come in quite a few different stone options. And I do have a discount code for 25% off and I'll put that down there. And then as far as makeup, it's the Dior Forever Glow Foundation, M Cosmetics Rodan Eyeshadow Palette, Heart Bronzer, Westman Atelier Contour Essence, is it Touch of Nude Highlighter, Bare Minerals, Gen Nude Powder Blush in Pretty in Pink, and Laura Mercier Petal Crayon Lipstick, I think it's called, in Camille, and Tarte Tubing Mascara. Alrighty, that's the rundown. Now let's get into the haul. First piece, I wanna start off with a bang. I fell in love with this. The minute I put this on, I felt super glamorous. I was feeling a little Grace Kelly-like in this silhouette. This is a cotton poplin collared, kind of almost like a cap sleeve midi dress. It is a very full and flowing skirt. It feels so luxurious on. I'm wearing this one in a size four. It comes in regular, tall, and petite, which is very nice. It comes in four colors. Obviously, I'm wearing mine in the black. It comes in white as well. And then I believe it's a white or maybe like an ecru cream with really thin black lines. I know they're selling out really quickly, probably because of the sale. I do want to assure you that from what I've seen, they restock constantly. So if the color you want isn't there, again, just wait a few days it'll probably be back. I don't know what else to say about this dress other than even if you don't know where you're gonna wear it, get the dress. It makes me feel so pretty. And these details I expect on something way more expensive. So just the little cuffs on the ends of the cap sleeve, the way it makes it stand out a little bit, it's a little more flattering the way it drapes on the upper arm, the way it goes in at the waist, the side zip, the flared skirt, pockets, pockets. So. This one is fantastic. I'm really hoping they add more colors to this. I would wear this to a graduation, to all kinds of spring events, God forbid a spring or summer funeral, but I would like to see this in more fun, bright colors. Now, because they're currently offering it in more muted colors, I do think this dress would work really well for a more conservative work environment. I feel like it, it even though it's sleeveless, it ticks a lot of those boxes. If you wanna feel a little more covered, you can throw the cotton double-breasted blazer that I have here. It's actually a linen cotton blend and it is double-breasted and I'm gonna show it to you buttoned, but I personally would never wear it buttoned. I'm wearing it in a size four. I will say Banana Republic Factory seems to run extremely big across all the things that I have tried on with the exception of maybe one thing which we'll talk about momentarily. But I feel like Unless you want that over, really oversized blazer look, do not size up on this. Go with the vanity sizing. So size four for me. In real life, I'm probably more like a size six. And I'll put my measurements down in the description box so that when I save what my size is and compare it to my measurements and all that, you can help figure out how it would work on your body type and your measurements and their sizing chart. There's a lot of room in the sleeves. I do not have overly thin arms, I'd say average to, to somewhere in the average range and there's still plenty of room in the sleeves even over that little extra shoulder bit of the dress so i love this it also comes in a very nice preppy navy i think that's actually the color preppy navy 
Either way, both pieces would be something that you will probably keep in your closet forever. I do not see this silhouette or this material ever going out of style. A couple of things I want to point out, not from Banana Republic Factory that were shown with that dress. The first is that black braided belt. That is part of a set of three that I picked up from Amazon and I pull those out constantly throughout the spring and summer. I think all three together are under $20. There's three different colors. They're fantastic and they fit a variety of sizes. I think there's two size options. I'm the small medium. If you could get one big accessory that you're gonna wear all the time this summer, I would recommend that one. And then I wanna point out this shoe that I'm wearing in a couple of the outfits. I just got this. It is such a pretty shoe. It looks super expensive, gorgeous block heel, even with a little gold accent, padded footbed throughout. I love this little knot here. It's faux leather. This comes in the nude, black, like a champagne gold and a sky blue. Are you ready for this? It's from Walmart. Online, you gotta get online. Don't go to your store, you'll be sad. It's not there. Walmart, I love you. Anyway, I just wanted to highlight this. It's brand new, just dropped on the site. I just got it out of the mailbox and I wanted y'all to see it. All right, let's stay a little bit dressy before we move on to more casual everyday. So these pants, let's talk about the pants first. These are a high rise linen blend pant. And I would say, Again, get your true vanity size. So I'm a size six, like normally, I got these in a size four. The reason why I'm a little hesitant is if you have any kind of mom pooch, like I do, or you carry your weight in your tummy, high rise is not necessarily our best friend. That all of that extra material can kind of highlight that you have a little extra there in the first place. In this dark color, I'm not as uncomfortable about it. And if I just put on some higher waisted underwear or maybe some more tummy control, underwear, either from Soma or Spanx. I think it would solve that problem and have it lie smooth. I had plenty of room in the waist. I didn't feel like that was an issue, but I did want to bring that up for sizing. It does also come in three very cool patterns, but it would be a safer play to just stick with the navy if you're built anything like me. As you can see, it's running pretty long. I'm wearing it with those same heels here and it's just skimming almost to the floor, which is actually ideally where you want a pant that's a little wide leg like that to run. But it does also come in petite lengths if you're concerned that it's gonna be too long for you. It does not come in a tall, however. I have paired that with a, oh, this top. I did see this top in the store when I went to visit and they didn't have the size I want and the color I want, but this V-neck dolman sleeve silky top it is so, this color, this color blue is exquisite. It does come in, I believe, six other really cool colors, some basics, but some like just gorgeous colors. And I do see myself reaching for this when I go out at night in the spring and summertime, although you can wear it for other things. I think it would look great under that white blazer. It's beautiful. It also is huge. I tried it on at the outlet mall in a small and it just literally fell off me. I'm wearing it in the try-on part in an extra small and it's roomy, and if I wasn't as large chested, I could probably even go down to a double X small, which I've never said that phrase out loud, so I'm gonna enjoy that for a moment. But if you don't have much of a chest, I, I think you could go down even two sizes. They run really big. Now we're moving into a little more casual and a little more confusing. So I have raved about the Tensile Cargo Jogger. It has replaced my beloved Amazon Daily Ritual Jogger for a couple of reasons. One, first and foremost, because Amazon stopped making the Daily Ritual Tensile Jogger. I love joggers. I live in joggers year round, but in the spring and summer, I tend to look for tensile or linen, natural, cool, drapey fabrics. We're gonna have to have a long talk about capri pants. It's not gonna be today, but just so you know, I live in San Antonio, Texas, it is hot here. It gets really hot and really humid. And when I am not here, I am visiting one son in Houston, which is as hot, but way more humid. And then for the past, I don't even know how many years, I've been spending a lot of time in Mississippi, which makes Houston look cool, like in a literal sense. So heat and humidity. So I know what heat feels like, guys. And what I'm telling you, I hate shorts, but I'm not gonna be wearing capri pants. Those few extra inches of fabric are not gonna make or break how hot or cold you feel, especially if you stick with cool, natural, drapey fabrics. So linen and tinsel 
are my best friends from like March through the beginning of November. I'm not even kidding you. So these, I have two tinsel joggers to share with you from Banana Republic and they're a little bit different. So let's walk through them. The first one is the tinsel cargo jogger. And these are the ones that I first got and they come in five colors. I now have them in tan, black, green, olive green, and navy. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I love them. They are roomy. So I have mine in a size small. Now, they look a lot like another jogger we're gonna talk about. So these joggers are a little more tapered in the leg. They're a little more casual. They have snaps on the cargo pockets and zippers on the other pockets, and they do not have back pockets. The cargo jogger you're seeing, I paired with a linen sort of gathered tank or sleeveless top. This is where I don't size down at Banana Republic Factory. When I am looking at linen tops, I will get my true size for two reasons. One, I'm a little bustier. They're man-made, but still, they're there. And so I wanna accommodate for them. But also because linen shrinks. Even if you don't throw it in the dryer, even if you do your best, linen is gonna shrink. You know, I don't want, I should say, in the warmer months, anything too clingy. It just adds to the heat factor. So I like drapey, I like flowy. So I'm gonna stay with my true size small in linen top. So I'm wearing this linen gather tank in a size small and I love the pleats. It's a unique feature because if you are large chested, this neckline can make us look like just one giant boob. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's, it's not always the most flattering look, but those pleats just make it drape more pretty and more prettily, I should say and it's a pretty neckline and it's gonna work for a variety of body types. So I wanted to point that out. The tank does come in four very basic colors, white, beige, black, and navy. And you're gonna see a white linen top next. If you wear, as long as you're wearing a bra that is the same color as your skin tone, it is not see-through. Or it is, but you won't see your bra. All that to say, I really like these joggers. I have five of them. And I really, really like this tank and I love wearing it on its own. And it's another great piece that could layer under a million things. Now let's jump to the other jogger where this gets confusing. So that one was the cargo jogger from Tencel Fabric. And now we're seeing the utility jogger, also Tencel Fabric. I think I like these better. So these, I don't wanna say these are a little dressier, but I think you can get away with dressing them up more easily. These have back pockets, the other ones didn't. The legs are a little roomier. So if you're worried about it being too clingy or if you have wider calves or thighs, this is gonna be a more forgiving silhouette. And instead of zippers and snaps, it has buttons. So it's a little dressier, like a little dressier. So you could probably throw on a blazer and a nice top and heels and dress this up for a work event, or you can keep it casual like I did with just some basic sandals, my go-to heeled sandals that I've been wearing for years now. And this time I'm wearing a different linen option from Banana Republic Factory, and I liked this one so much, I bought two of them. So I'm showing it in the white, I also got it in navy. It's a linen collar top without the buttons. So it's basically a t-shirt with a collar. I love it. I love how it's a little bit more of an elevated basic tee. And I will probably end up ordering the black and the beige as well. And then we are going to finish with this show stopper. And forgive me that I am constantly adjusting it. This is a caftan. This is meant to be worn over a bathing suit. I can see myself, a better version of myself, all golden and bronzed, wearing some amazing high cut plunging neckline one piece with like high heel gold sandals. That version of me does not exist. So the version of me that does exist is someone that even with fake tan did not get very tan and didn't wanna squeeze herself into a bathing suit just yet. So I'm wearing this over my bra and underwear. And so I'm making sure that it doesn't all fall out as I'm sitting here. <laughs> But if you want to feel super glamorous, even if you are just sitting at your kitchen table talking to a camera, this thing is awesome. It is stunning. It does come in two sizes, one extra small, small, and then there's a larger option. The waist has a very adjustable drawstring so you can leave it as open or closed as you'd like. There's some super high slits up the side as there should be if you're wearing a very cool caftan over a bathing suit. I love this. I think this is so, I don't know. I, I hope they come out with some more of these. If you're planning a spring break trip, maybe into April or you're just gonna end up at the community pool, this will take your, out, your bathing suit up a notch for sure. 
So I just, I had to share that. It's just so fabulous. This is just the tip of the iceberg as to what they have at Banana Republic Factory. Especially, I would say, if you are working in a corporate or conservative work environment and you're not already shopping at Banana Republic Factory, you need to because the options they have are fantastic in suiting and workwear. That's not a part of my life that I generally need to dress for, so I didn't go in that direction. And I should have led with, whenever I do a haul or a dressing room try-in, I set a budget. And the budget was $300. So I got all this stuff for, I believe it was under $300, um, which is not a bad deal. So that's everything that I hauled and it's all staying here. I'm not gonna return any of it. I fell in love with all of it. I would love to hear from you. Are you a regular shopper at Banana Republic Factory? Are there things that I need to know about that I missed? Let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had some fun and I will see you in the next video.